Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. All right, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, happy uh, Thursday. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday. I got a great guest with me today. I'm very excited. Um, we get to uh, uh, talk face-to-face for Mary, this Mary uh, Beltran, and she is uh, over there in the Bronx, and she is the owner and the creator of Yoga Saj. And uh, she is uh, uh, someone who is well steeped in the knowledge of all yoga. She works with Himalayan stones. She's going to tell us all about that and the different types of massage. Um, at uh, Yoga Massage, she does massage therapy, of course, deep tissue, uh, myo uh, facial, uh, facial. I could ask her about that one. I'm not too sure cupping like i said the himalayan uh, stones trigger point and uh these are um deep tissue with the himalayan salt stones and she's actually going to show it to us later which is pretty cool so guys with no further ado you guys can call in at 631-687-5800 if you want to ask mary a question or if you'd like you can use the instant feedback go casey instant feedback at gmail.com It'll pop up. My producer will read it live on the air. Just uh, give us your name and your city, your state. And if you're bashful, just say it on us. He'll read it. And uh, Mary will respond to your question live on the air. So you can hear your favorite uh, guest, Mary, respond to your question. So guys, it is my honor and privilege to bring to the program Miss Mary Beltran. Mary, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm all right. Are you, uh, are you in the Bronx right now? Yes, I am. I'm All right. Bronx, good old Bronx, New York. <laughs> <laughs> now, With my now, boxing stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is is uh when you have um when you when you do your your massage, do you have people? Do you have the office or people come to your home office? How does it work? I go to people's homes. You go to people's homes, okay. And I, and how do they get a hold of you? They can call me. My number is nine one four six two nine four six one nine, or they can email me at m y G M Y O G A L M T at yahoo.com. <laughs> okay. Mary, so Mary, tell me again, in case people missed your first show, I mean, the other shows that we've done, what, um, what made you get into massage and how long you've been doing it? I've been doing it for over 25 years. Wow. Um, and um, I do all sorts of massage and I got into it because um, I actually started with Reiki. Um, and loved Reiki and I love working with the body and um, was actually going to go to medical school but didn't life took a different turn for me so um, I ended up going into massage because in New York State you can't touch a body without having a body worker's license of some sort oh wow doctor yeah or a PT or a, a massage therapist or you have to have a, some sort of a license to be able to touch the body and do any kind of manipulation of tissue. And unfortunately, Reiki fell under the massage law. So in order to really do Reiki, I needed to go to massage school. And so the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And now, now you got this, this, this great business and people are really clamoring for you. They, they want to uh, work with you. Are you taking new clients on right now? Yes. Okay. So you got a, you got a, you got a room for some clients. That's great. Um, and uh, like you said, they can uh, they call you at what number? 914-629-4619. Okay. And uh, you, do you do Reiki? Do you do it virtually as well? Um, I haven't done Reiki virtually. Um, it certainly can be done that way. Uh, but because I do massage and I do in-person work, I really haven't focused in on that part of the Reiki. And for me, the Reiki just sort of, when you do Reiki, you sort of become um, this vehicle for this wonderful energy that just kind of comes flowing, flowing through you. So as I'm doing massage, it just kind of flows through me. So I don't do a Reiki session per se. It just kind of is an added benefit to people who get my massage. <laughs> wow, that, that must be uh, like a, a, the one-two punch. That must be pretty powerful if you, you're doing Reiki and you're doing massage. What, what's, the, what's the benefit of doing them both at the same time? Well, if people who are in tune to energy can pick it up, it's interesting. People who are not in tune to energy don't really kind of notice. All they say is that it was a great massage, mm -hmm. but they don't necessarily understand why it was better than something else. 
Um, and I find that from my, I can feel when the energy kind of is coming through me. So there are times when it's coming through and there are times when it doesn't. So I'm working on certain areas that need a little more sort of work. It's sort of like the energy kind of flows a little more in that energy to that place. So I don't really, I don't try to have control of it. I sort of let it do its work through me. So that's how I, that's how I, I use the energy. I, so when when you're uh, doing a massage, you, usually you'll find some sort of blockage or some sort of sort of uh, a balled up tightness or something like that. Is that usually where people are blocked Reiki wise with energy too? Is it in the same spot usually? It can be, it can be, but not necessarily. Um, energy is flowing through the body all the time, all over the place. So there can be different blocks in different places. So it's a combination of both the, the muscle and the tissue and the fascia and everything messed up, which also messes up the energy. I see. Now, do you use uh, any crystals or, or, or anything or? Um... No, I don't use crystals. How about no. the, what's, what is a Himalayan salt stone? Himalayan salt, I love Himalayan salt stones. They're great. They are made from uh, Himalayan salt. They're handmade um, and they're heated to about 130 degrees. Oh, and they come in absolutely wonderful shape. The, the Baltic stones are made from um, stone and they're, they're different. They're black and they usually, um, they come in different shapes also, but they're not as, um, I find they're not as energy friendly. Um, I find the Himalayan stones are much more energy. I don't know, there's just something more, they seem more alive to me. Uh -huh. um, and they come in wonderful shapes. We've got a heart shape, We've got a round one. We've got a teardrop. So they're also great for massage therapists for working because with like the teardrop and the heart, you can really get into doing a lot of trigger point work. Oh, so you use um, the stone to, to, to do your massage in a way, they're not just sitting on someone's back, right? You're, you're using them. Oh, no, them. no. You actually, you actually use them as they, they're in your hands and you use them and you, you know, go down the body and- Oh, and how cool. Heat. So between the heat and the movement, you help to relax the muscles. So then from that point, you can use a combination of your hand or the stone to go into doing the deeper work. You know, you can use the, the points of the, of the heart or the sides of the heart and get, you know, by the shoulder blade, you know, oh. working in the shoulder blade and doing all that. And also they have a little bit, they're not very abrasive, but a little bit abrasive because they're salt. So um, get a little bit of, um, uh, falsation with it, but very little. But a little bit, but also because they're they're alive, they have 84 minerals in them, and because of that, the minerals go into your body when the heat, and they're just they're wonderful. They're great. Wow, how cool! I I, I knew nothing about that. It's really neat. Now, uh, how, how do you heat them up to? We said 120. How do you how do you get them uh, heated up? How does that work? Well, I have a special when I go to people's homes. I have a special bag it goes into that's heated, so okay. they're heating while I'm getting to the client's house. Um, if you get it done in a spa, they usually are on a tray that has them heated. So depending on where you're going to go, but I have a special bag, heated bag that they uh, go into. I would, I would think that would work great on athletes. Have you ever worked on athletes with that? Is that good for them? Um, yeah, it would be great for them. Um, I haven't, I don't work on a lot of athletes, more the weekend warrior type. Guy. Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so but, you uh, a lot of people with sore muscles. Is that good for sore muscles? Oh, it's great for sore muscles. I use them myself. I lay, I heat them up and lay on them myself and put them on a body part that's really sore. They're great. They, oh, they cool. stay warm for quite a while and they're just great. That's called the Himalayan salt stone. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what's the, what's the massage technique called if someone wants to get that? What do you say? Just, uh, just Himalayan. Him just just Himalayan. Himalayan. Okay. Um, so the other, the other types that we were talking about, the one I couldn't pronounce, what's a myo... Uh, facial, facial. Myofascial. Myofascial. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a beginner. I'm learning. That's okay. That's what right. is that, Mary? Myofascia is like a, a cellophane that encloses, that encases everything underneath the skin, and the myofascia is. Um, if you think about, it, I can take my towel. So if you have, if, say you have a problem, and the myofascia starts to get, you know pulling up into like a little knot. So from there, it starts to pull and pull and pull and pull. And before you know it, you've got this big knot in your back. And so myofascia, you want to help to relax 
the myofascia. So eventually you can help to soften out what damages, you know, all this bunching up that you have going on here. It can take a long time to do that. Um, and as I tell my clients is that they really never ever totally get rid of a knot. They're just there because we keep doing the same thing all the time. So it's repetitive motion. So I always say to my clients, look at what you're doing on a daily basis that you can change. There's certain things you can change. If you go back and you do the same thing, each week I come, I say it's like peeling a layer of an onion. You know, I'll do a certain amount of work each week. You can only go so much so far. You only fix them once a week, I guess, right? Once a week or yeah, people can't usually afford once a week. So once a month. But if you look about what you're doing, you know, how I'm, you know, I'm holding, I'm working on my computer all day and I'm hunched over like this. Yeah, well, of yeah, course right. You get, right. So it's about looking, how can I correct this? How can I, you know, sit better or take, I always tell my clients, take 20 minute break. Every time you're at the computer, set a timer. Every 20 minutes, get up, walk around, you know, do a little yoga stretches, do some shoulder rolls and kinds of stuff, just to help to relax the muscle and you're much you function much better when you're able to to just sort of get away from it all for like even if it's just you know 30 seconds it doesn't yeah. take long to you Good know point. and then just assess where you are gotcha yeah. hey uh, mr producer do you have uh, uh something you have a instant uh, feedback or something yes um we have miles from texas uh and i believe he goes growing up i used to play football at a competitive level now i've been diagnosed with cte which is a chronic traumatic brain injury are there any holistic treatments that can help my disease? Oh, wow. That's a tough one that I don't really know. No, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, that's tough from what I understand. Um, do, do you ever massage people's heads? Do you, does that, is, yeah. is, that, is that a thing? Are you sure? Scalp massage is great. What, what oh, hair? That... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hair is great. It makes hair grow. It's great. It's great. Uh, but yeah, that I, I, that's a tough question. That I don't know whether I really would be in a, in a space to really, in a professional space to be able to answer that. I mean, I would just say massage would probably be helpful in that it would help to relax. But yeah. in terms of kind of holistic, that's you know really beyond my, my qualifications. All right. Well, well, good luck to you, my friend. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll, you'll find some relief. Mr. Producer? Yes, we have Kylie from California. Um, and I believe she goes, I know I'm going to sound foolish, but how are spiritual crystals different from uh, spiritual stones? Is it, is it Himalayan? Is that a, is that a crystal? No, these are not crystals. They're stones. These are, these are just stones. Crystals are, are, are different. They reflect light. They reflect, I mean, these, these have energy, but it's energy because of the, you know, the minerals and the stuff in them but they're not crystals. So the crystals have a different purpose. Um, so I don't, I don't use crystals, so I don't really, you know, can't address the crystal issue. Yeah, yeah um, uh, let me get to the next one I think, but I wanted to ask you, you said something before about scalp massage. What are the benefits of that, Mary? Oh my goodness, it brings fresh blood to the, to the scalp. It helps to relax the scalp. The scalp has a lot of tension in it. So by massaging the scalp, you get rid of a lot of tension in the in the neck and the and the head and the eyes. And massaging the face, all have very good benefits. What do you do? Uh, the face massages is is that called something, or is that just part of the whole the whole massage? It's part of the it's part of the whole thing. If people want it, some people don't like to have their faces done, but like people have TMJ, it's oh. wonderful to do all working all into the jaw and under the jaw and. You know, the, all behind the ear, all you know, the TMJ joint. It's it's wonderful. I, I would so, assume. I, I don't know, but I would assume most of most of your concentration would be in the neck and the back. Is that is that kind of accurate? Back and shoulders. A lot of pain there, right? Back and shoulders. What back I, and shoulders. When I do a massage, I would say I spend probably about eighty five percent of my time on back and shoulders, oh. and the rest of it is well, because most people don't have leg problems maybe a little bit maybe hip problems but that's related to lower back issues oh. um and also sometimes hip issues can be related back to shoulders so you know it's um you know getting back to the myofascia the myofascia is pulling it's pulling you know in different parts so as it's pulling here it's got to, this has to let go this has to stress this has to contract so that it sort of throws everything out of whack okay so indirectly you know 
my working. So I spend most of my time on the back. That's where most people's issues are. Man, it must be so so cool to know so much about the body that that Mary knows. Mr. Producer, you got um, another one over there? Yeah. Um, we have Beth from Massachusetts. Uh, she goes, do you cleanse your stones before and or after visiting um, or using them on clients? I didn't hear that. What did, what did he say? Did I do I what? Um, do you cleanse your stones before oh, yes. or after using them on clients? They're cleansed after every use. What do, you, what do you mean cleanse? What does that mean? They're, they're cleaned with a special um, solution uh -huh. that is uh, kills 100% of the bacteria, but doesn't destroy the, um, the salts. Okay. Uh, so, so is that like the, the, the energy uh, is still, uh, is still, you just. Oh yeah, the energy is still there. Okay. Yeah. Really neat. Really neat. Guys, I'm speaking with uh, Mary Beltran on the Mary Beltran show. You guys can go to uh, yoga yogasageworks.com. Mary, tell me about all the services, everything that you provide. Uh, who is your perfect client? Who do you want to get a hold of you? And should they go to the website or should they call? And if you give them both out again after that too. Okay. Um, I deal mainly with um, people who are work at home people or people working in, in highly stressed jobs that are just so stressed. Um, so they're my general population. Uh, of course, weekend warriors that you know go out and play the football, baseball, and <laughs> injure themselves. Yeah, right. Um, right. So um, that's my general population. I have done young people, um, but um, I tend to gear more towards the middle age, you know, twenty to, to sixty year old. To have quite a few elderly people, um, who massage is great for for them also. Um, and, um, my number is 914-629-4619. Okay. And, and, that, and, uh, can you talk about the, the website and what we're going to see on the website and how to spell it? Okay. Well, the website is on, it's, it's on its way. Hopefully it'll be up in the next week or so. I know, okay, okay. Thing is, but I'm working on, on the details. No problem. Um, no problem. Yoga, yogasageworks.com y-o-g-a-w-o-r-k-s.com and um i do cupping maybe next time we get together i'll show you cupping mm -hmm. um and trigger point work which can be combined with the himalayan or the the baltic hot stones um these the baltic hot stones are the more classic that's where how things started was originally with the baltic hot stones it's the other um, smoother they're smooth well yeah they're smoother and um they don't come in as many um shapes that well this one is a nice one for doing trigger point but they tend to be more sort of um roundish uh -huh. so they're better for doing what we call effleurage strokes which are really long soothing kind of strokes um and heat is great they're, they're great for both of them are good for the heat for softening the muscle so if you didn't you don't usually do the the whole massage with the heat you get you put the heat in the body and then you you can work from there with your hands to get you know more more specific detail because there's something about sensation that you get in your hand as opposed to you get from from the stone I see. um so i mean i can feel more you know with with thumbs and forearms and elbows than i can with through the stone i, uh, I can feel some things through the stone but uh -huh. um you know it's, it's important to have communication with the client yeah. Very important, especially when you're working with heat and stones. You always want to communicate and make sure everybody has a different level of tolerance of heat. So what might feel okay to me might not feel okay to the client. Uh -huh. So um, you always have to give feedback and say, yes, this feels okay or no, that's too hot. Um, so you know what to, you know, to, to cool the stones off a little bit before you use them. So. Gotcha. Thanks, Mary. Hey, Mr. Producer, do I have time for one, one more? Yeah. Okay. Um, we have Lily from Rhode Island. Uh, she goes, do you offer any family package deals on massages? Mm. Um, yes. If people, if people commit to, um, you know, a, a six or eight week session. Yes. Particularly if they have a problem, I really like to see them on a regular basis. So I'm willing to negotiate price for, um, you know, to, yeah. to, to accommodate them. 
Now, is that the best part of your job? You think when you see someone who comes in with a problem or an injury or something like that, and you see you see the progress coming, is that is that kind of what what gives you the the, the best uh, reward for for what you're doing? Yeah, that's the best. You see cool. somebody come in and they're really stressed. You put them on the table, and they get up off the table and they look like a completely different person. I mean, their faces are just so much more relaxed. That's the benefit of having it in your house because I remember. When I was going to massage school, we had a, a TA and we would go and get massages from him. And he was down way down in the village. If you know anything about New York, it's really yeah, yeah, downtown, yeah. lower Manhattan. So by the time I got home, it was like I never knew I had a massage because you always, you know, you're dealing with traffic, you're dealing, uh, you, know, you stop, you want to uh, do this errand or that errand. This way, when you're home, you're home. You know, you, you can get right from the table and go, you know, lay down. The best thing to do is to rest after a massage. And if you're home, you have that ability to be able to do that. You don't have to get dressed again. You don't have to get into the car. You don't have to deal with the stress. So the massage really works better when you can have it done in your home as opposed to um, going somewhere. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, uh, you know, where are you most comfortable? And right. when, when you got uh, Mary Beltran come over uh, <laughs> and, and work you over, uh, that sounds like a great thing. I got a wrap, Mr. Producer. Yeah, we can do one more. Interview oh, you got one more? Okay, yeah, okay. Um, um, we have Jeffrey from Georgia. He goes, uh, is it ever too old of an age to start learning massage therapy? I'm inspired by your work. No, you can go anytime. Start anytime. It's a great profession. Uh, there are not many of us that last this long in the profession. Um, usually people last about between eight and 10 years. Um, but anytime is great. And there's so many different kinds of massage you can do. I mean, there are loads and loads of types of massage. So, you know, we start now, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know how it is there, but in New York, it's a two-year program. When I did it, it was one year, um, but now it's a two-year program. So, um, better to start now than never, than never right? Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Guys, uh, I've been speaking with uh, the uh, one and only Miss Mary Beltran. Um, go to uh, yoga, yogasageworks.com, but uh, there's a phone number, um, Mary, any last uh, things you want us to think about uh, until we speak again that we should ponder or uh, know about uh, the, the great Mary Beltran and her and her massage uh, work before next time? You get the floor. I just I think that people should think about massage as part of their wellness their, to keep themselves healthy. It's a way of keeping stress under control. It's a way of keeping your blood pressure under control. Um, so think about it as a, you know, as an important part of your wellness package on a, on a regular monthly basis. If you can do it weekly, that's great. But monthly is, you know, is really, a, you know, is most ideal for most people. It's a way of keeping things under control. But I have to think of, not to think of massage as a luxury, because it's really not a luxury. It's really something important to keep you healthy. Gotcha. Mary, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for everyone who, who wrote in and uh, can't wait to hear what you have to say next. Mary Beltran, everybody. Thank you so much. We'll okay. see you. We'll see you later. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world. This is the podcast business news network. For nearly 2000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicapped accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.